Hi guys, this is me just coming in to say hi. I have not been uploading videos as I would like because I'm in the middle of doing dissertation, but I just wanted to say hi. What a lovely building behind me of Manchester University. So yeah, I am here. I tend to come to um, school and just get an empty classroom. I mean, there are no classes now. So I can just pop into any empty classroom and just do some work by myself. So here I am, my stuff is right here. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how best I can finish some of the work that I need to do for dissertations. So I felt a bit anxious when I'm starting this dissertation because you know, it's a new thing. I have to approach it differently than I would approach my assignments um, and I was really burnt out. I mean, I took like two weeks just to recuperate from all the assignments that I had to do, but now I am in the thick of things. I have set timelines. So for all of you who are doing dissertations, especially my classmates, hi, um, my suggestion for you is to put timelines so that you don't get behind schedule so the end of june is coming up as a matter of fact next week thursday or friday i think is the 30th of june which is the last day of june so put some timelines what do you need to accomplish by the end of june i've already set timelines with my dissertation supervisor which is um Diane and I've set some timelines like I know what I need to accomplish by the 30th of June and then right into July I'm doing something new um, you know so that's how you have to work it in order for you to meet those goals and meet the deadline and you know for you to submit the dissertation on time in order to graduate so yeah um, I'm still, I, I feel, every time I speak to Diane, I feel better. I feel lighter. <laughs> I feel less stressed, which is good. Um, so what I tend to do is I, because when I speak to her, my mind is much clearer and I, I understand what I need to do. I, right after I finish talking to her, I just start writing and start doing what I need to do because I'm so much clearer. Um, so, yeah. Another thing I see my classmates doing, which is a great thing to do, is to record the meetings with your dissertation supervisor because many times you're when you're finished talking to them, you walk away and you totally forget what they said. So having recordings to for you to go back and listen to and to remind yourself of what you need to do where you need to go and all the advice that you've got that that really helps a lot um and to motivate yourself <laughs> well for me to motivate myself i gave myself breaks like i said i gave myself two weeks break um just to recuperate i just slept i watched videos youtube watch comedies um, I exercise, so I'm going to the gym regularly now, which helps. Um, trying to eat healthy. I have my smoothie that I do every morning. And just I just try to get centered again because I was really stressed out. Um, and then um, my motivation also comes from within. As you guys know, I'm a Christian, so my faith has a lot to do with my motivation. Um, so that helps too. And then also trying to find the good things to be happy about, you know, go outside. It's spring now. Well, it's going into summer, but we're still in spring kind of. So go outside, see the flowers, see the trees, appreciate a sunny day, even though it's rainy today, but just appreciate the small things and those things can get you motivated and can lift your spirits. Um, another thing that I like to do is to help people. For those who are in my class, you guys know, right? I love helping people and that helps me also. It lifts my spirits. It helps me to feel good about myself when I'm kind and helpful to someone else. So yeah, those, those are some tips 
that you can try <laughs> to help motivate you, to help you to push you to the destination that you need to get to, which is we need to graduate. So don't give up now. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> you can make it. And as I talk to you, I'm talking to myself too, because I, sometimes I do need the motivation. <laughs> but um, yeah, and, and never neglect hanging out with people, hanging out with positive people, people who mean you well, people who um, love you, who support you, who want to hear what's going on with you. And of course, you want to hear what's going on with them. Try to, to get that break because we're not meeting together anymore um, every day in class. So sometimes it gets a bit lonely, especially if you don't have a lot of friends. But if you have one or two good persons who you could hang out with and who could help lift your spirits and help make your day, that can um, really do a lot of good. So, yeah. So otherwise, guys, that's what I'm doing this summer. Um, that's it. <laughs> let me know if you have any questions, especially my classmates. If you have any questions, if I can help you in any way, let me know. All right. So take care. Bye.